couldn't let you leave Fort Worth without providing you with some protection against the rain. White House on Monday. If you'll come up there, you'll have a chance to see it there. Well, it started off uh, beautifully, as a matter of fact. Uh, started off from the standpoint of spirit, at least, and enthusiasm. We uh, got up in Fort Worth. Uh, he, he was jubilant about uh, the reception he'd had. You see, at Fort Worth, this was the third stop we'd made. Everywhere we'd had tremendously enthusiastic, warm, uh, warm crowds that, that couldn't help but please him. So we were looking forward, actually, to coming to Dallas. And uh, we were all eagerly awaiting uh, uh, the arrival in Dallas. Of course, we didn't talk about it much, as you well know, because it's not a very long flight in the 707 from Fort Worth to Dallas. And uh, Dallas uh, had a wonderful reception at the airport. Uh, everyone was extremely pleased. Uh, a tremendous crowd at the airport. Uh, he shook hands with a lot of them before we started the cavalcade downtown. So I, I would say that everyone uh, was in extremely good spirits, high spirits, and particularly I think Ms. Kennedy uh, had, had very much warmed uh, to this type of, uh, of an affair. Uh, as we came down, as we came through the residential uh, uh, area of Dallas, the crowds thinned a little bit. Uh, we talked. Uh, again, uh, he was extremely pleased, as was Ms. Kennedy with the uh, uh, the reception that they'd had. As we neared uh, downtown Dallas, uh, the crowds uh, became enormous and extremely enthusiastic. As we came down through the main business district of Dallas, uh, I would say we, we received as warm, as enthusiastic, as spontaneous a reception as we did in any city in the state. Uh, and it was really wonderful to the point where just as we turned down by the courthouse, uh, Nellie turned around and and said to the president, uh, she, she was so impressed by the warmth of the reception, she turned around and said to the president, uh, well, Mr. President, you can't say that, uh, that Dallas doesn't love you too. And uh, he said, no, I think that's apparent, and uh, or words to that effect. Uh, the crowds began to thin, but we were only about five minutes from the trademark where, we, where the luncheon was to be held. Uh, so uh, we mo all more or less straightened up uh, in the car uh, I did, I know, uh, and, and maybe I should explain that a little bit by saying that when you sit for a pro prolonged period of time, as we were, facing in one direction, uh, acknowledging the crowd, uh, why, when you get an opportunity and when the crowd thins, you kind of shift in the chair and straighten up, and we had just done that. Uh, uh, I had, uh, and I heard this shot, and I say shot because I immediately thought it was a shot. I immediately thought it was a rifle shot. Fear just uh, swept through me, and I and I turned, th thinking that the shot had come from back over my right shoulder. So I turned, and I obviously saw nothing but a, a tremendous crowd of people from wh from where we had just come, and I saw nothing unusual, nothing out of the way, except people also had startled looks on their faces. They were turning, they were looking, uh, and and I didn't catch him in the corner of my eye. So I was in the process of turning to my left, and that's when I felt the impact of the bullet that hit me. Went in my back shoulder and came out my chest right here. I felt as if someone had just hit me in the back, a sharp blow with a doubled up fist. It, it more or less knocked me over at least enough to where I looked down, and of course I was, I was covered with blood and frankly thought that I had uh, uh, been fatally hit. Uh, I never lost consciousness, and I was lying there and heard the third shot. I heard the third shot very distinctly. Uh, I heard it hit. I assumed that it hit the president, and it obviously did. The evidence was splattered all over the car and uh, all over my clothes and all over Nellie, and it was a time of, of just unbelievable uh, stark tragedy. Uh, you, uh, so many things go through your mind 
uh, at that moment uh, that I think it's pro probably impossible to relate at any future time all the things that you thought. Uh, I, I know I thought, uh, again, I rather assumed without knowing uh, that the president had been fatally wounded. Uh, and I, I rather assumed uh, that, uh, that I had been. Uh, and so constantly there was going through my mind thoughts of, of Nellie, of the children, of, of what you'd done. And it's uh, really difficult, I think, to try to explain uh, all the things that you wonder about, all the things that you concern yourself with uh, at a time like that. I just man to see President Kennedy when he rode down and down this town. I saw that mean old snapper when he carried the president down. There'll be a man just like President Kennedy was. He's a man amongst men. Got a four corner. The president died 25 minutes after the shooting at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Too sad to think, boy. This president we all had. The eyes of the nation and the hearts of the nation are with Mrs. Kennedy today. And the eyes of Dallas, Texas are held in shame. Saw President Kennedy in the government of Texas. Was shaking hands. He said, if I don't get my plan to govern, President John will be the next man. There'll be a man. Yeah, like President Kennedy was. What are your first reactions to a tragedy of this sort? My first reaction, sir, is that I hope these southerners, these radicals, have satisfied they got their pound of flesh.